it, it's, this is a great, great cause. I, um, when I got elected to Congress in 2012, Canines for Warriors was, it was in the congressional district, actually right down the road from where Casey and I were living. And if you guys have ever been to Ponte Vedra Beach, it's like if you're um, going down A1A, you can kind of turn off if you're going south and you end up on this uh, Palm Valley Road, Roscoe Boulevard, and there's like these nice houses right on the intercoastal and one of those was the canines for warriors uh, original <laughs> site um, and they outgrew that very quickly and created a massive campus uh, further uh, south in st john's county that roscoe site probably has doubled in value since uh, since then uh, it's been it's been re really really a good time for real estate uh, but they did it so they started doing more and more people and one of the reasons why i liked it was because when I was in the military, uh, particularly when I was in Iraq, I got, I got to Iraq in 2007. Uh, I had never been to Iraq, but a lot of the people I was serving with had been to Iraq and Afghanistan multiple times since 9-11. And so we had a situation where in World War II, everybody uh, participated. Vietnam, there was a draft. This was all volunteer, and it was a very small segment of our society who were being asked to basically go more and more. And that's not something that's really normal for human beings to go through. And I'm not saying that, that many of them didn't handle it well, because many of them did. But you had inevitably uh, people coming back, and they looked fine, uh, but you had invisible wounds uh, that we didn't always do a great job uh, dealing with as a society. And so when I was in Congress, I had this great organization there. And then I have all these veterans. I have families who lost people because they're just doing all these drugs, and the VA is telling them just take more drugs, more drugs, and it created really bad outcomes for some of our veterans. And so we had this program, which is really trying to go in a little bit different direction, that was having tremendous success. And so I was a big supporter just personally, but also that was the inspiration for the Paws Act. So I was the original sponsor of that. Um, I was. When I was in three terms in Congress, I, had, I was in the majority every time, and I could not get the leadership to ever bring it up. Uh, finally, I leave Congress, and they pass my bill, uh, which is fine <laughs> as long as it gets done. So they've actually passed that. So that's now going to be something that uh, the VA is going to recognize as something that we can do to, to, to help these folks. And so what you're doing by supporting uh, Canines for Warriors here uh, is really helping them meet a demand that's out there and it has a proven track record. And the thing is, is we would do different uh, things in Congress to promote this. I did hearings and I'd have these veterans and they would say, I was in a spiral. They just kept pumping me with drugs. Had I not gotten the service dog, I would not be here today. And you heard that over and over again. And that's very, very powerful because we see how many veterans uh, that we lose to suicide still um, in, in this day and age. And so, so thank you guys for helping out. Uh, and, and also just, you know, as we, as we celebrate Veterans Day, you know, our World War II veterans are, are, le are leaving the scene. I mean, there's still some left, but I mean, most of them have passed on. Um, you know, we, we still, of course, have our, some Korean and a lot of Vietnam. But as we get into my generation, yeah, you could grow. You could have lived uh, from 9/11 on in different parts of our country and never even known a veteran uh, who who was serving at that time on active duty in any of the global war on terrorism. Uh, so it was not something that society was necessarily invested in. Just that's just the way it works out. I'm not even criticizing that, but I do think that uh, coming together and doing things on Veterans Day is important to remind people that there are people out there that are standing on the wall for us. We take it for granted a lot of times, but it's not easy what they do. It's not easy on their family life. It's not easy knowing that if the Army or the Marine Corps or the Navy just tells you to go halfway around the world next week, you got to do that. Uh, they can keep you over there for a year. I had When I was in Iraq, there were people doing 15-month tours. They missed two Thanksgivings, two Christmas, and they missed all their kids' birthdays. A lot of sacrifice. And so uh, it really, I think, things like this show that, uh, that we care, that, that we support these folks, and that we'll continue to do it. And I am very proud that Florida, I think we now have the second highest veterans population in the country. I'm confident that we are the best state in the country for veterans, and we're going to keep it that way. And it's not just because of our state government. We do some good things. But quite frankly, it's because we've got communities all across Florida who step up and support and recognize our veterans. And you guys are doing that here today. Uh, so thank you. God bless you, and God bless our veterans. <laughs>